What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. And one of the biggest questions that are going around is what would I do once I know that uh, Calvin Johnson is going to be available in Madden Ultimate Team? So as I discuss this with you guys, I'm going to do what I usually do uh, with my daily objectives. I'm going to go through it, complete a set. Um, and we're going to talk about this because it's very, very interesting with the way that my receivers are playing. Shout out to everybody that was part of the live stream on YouTube uh, more recently as of yesterday. I told you guys I would get you some gameplay. We tested out the, um, the emergency patch for the PS4 system. Um, you know, as far as the, um, all the other things that were going on, we were getting a lot of uh, complaints about crashes and stuff like that. So EA Sports pretty much put out an emergency patch that, you know, it helped a lot of people that were able to now finish up solos and not get frozen in solo battles, which will be so annoying, bro. Um, obviously, if you guys have any questions and comments, you guys can tweet me uh, at GMI's World and we can see what we could do as far as getting information over to EA Sports. But, um, you know, speaking about Calvin Johnson, I'm, I'm going to explain something to you right now. A lot of you guys don't really understand that with this game, the speed threshold is kind of dangerous to actually go by because if dudes bail, right? Like you'll play an idiot that'll be bailing the entire game in cover three, and you probably, in most cases, will never be able to get by them. Okay, now, in previous Maddens, what happens is, it's sort of like this, right? Randy Moss, when he played, um, it was very, very interesting when Randy Moss played, right? Because what he would do, even when they would bail, he would be able to get by them. But what happened is, in previous Maddens also, like last year, let's talk about Madden 18, right? As we go through the years. In Madden 18, you were able to high point pass it, a bullet pass, and get over somebody that was playing that kind of zone or whatever, like just trying to bail, right? Um, 17, you were able to actually get by them if you timed it right because the throws were a little bit better and more accurate. So the reason that I tell you guys that is more than likely he's going to be slower than Randy Moss. Okay, so what does that mean? That means for my scheme and the things that I'm doing, it doesn't really benefit me at all, all right? So when you guys are talking about Calvin Johnson, it's like... Jerry Rice sucks, and I'm going to get to him in a second. Um, as far as the um, the team captain, he's terrible. So if you guys have other cards that you're using, I would I, you know, I would suggest that you guys stay with that. I would definitely suggest that uh, you make sure that those things uh, stay the way that they are. I, I would not go towards Jerry Rice, bro. The dude's garbage. And he's so bad. Like, he's going to drop wide open passes, and then at the same time, he would find a way to catch a pass that he's not supposed to catch. But when you look at his stats and his numbers, it doesn't make any sense. You see what I'm saying? Like when you look at all those things and all the uh, chems, it really just doesn't make sense that he's able to drop all these passes, but somehow he finds a way to do it. And I don't really know how to explain that. Now, the other thing is this. If you, most of you guys have both Randy Moss and Tyreek Hill on your squad. If you've been watching my videos since the jump, you know that those guys have been a staple in my offense, right? Who do we get? We can't get rid of. We can't get rid of Tyreek Hill, and Moss ain't going nowhere. So, what do we do for Calvin Johnson? And a lot of you guys, that's what the whole situation is. You're like, yo, what do I do, bro? G my, oh, listen, I I can't um, justify certain things if I'm not going to do it. Now, if you for some reason don't have either of these players, if you don't have a Randy Moss or a Tyreek Hill, um, I don't know. You know, may, you're gonna probably go for the Calvin Johnson. But if this was like a Madden where it mattered, like. Let's, say, let's go to Madden 25, right? If we go to Madden 25, Jerry Rice would be a lot better receiver and everybody on my team would be doing whatever they wanted like with the way that it is right now. But because I know I can't really beat people deep the way that they're supposed to get beat, because even if somebody bails, right, if you do a double move or something like that and they bite or, you know, whatever, you can get by them. But you can't do that in this game, all right? So it's completely been revamped. And the, the situation is... Regardless of the throw power of your quarterback, when you release the ball, because Patrick Mahomes has a 99 throw power, but regardless of what his throw power is, you're not going to be able to do much, okay? Just simply because that's just the way the game is designed. Because just think about it like this, right? Obviously, if they're bailing like that, the more logical thing would be is to take the underneath routes, right? Think about it this way. In other Maddens, right, that like, like put it like the, the most recent Madden, like, what is it, Madden 16, I believe it was? Um, I'm, try I'm trying to go back to the most recent Madden where you could possibly get something off that would make sense. In Madden 16, prior to the patch, they had actual real-time speed. Before the first patch, it was like real-time speed. So what does that mean? The real-time speed meant that if, you, if a guy was bailing, right, and, you, and he was playing zone coverage, 
and you would throw, you would time to throw like right before he was about to get to the guy, the acceleration would take over and then you would be able to still get by them because that's realistically what happens. It's not like in the NFL, people don't use bail coverage. It's about the acceleration of the receiver and going forward afterwards that matters the most. So when you look at it in this regard and you try to figure out like, all right, what, what is EA Sports really doing right now? What's happening is people, they, people can get lazy and play stock coverages. That, that's, what my, that's what my opinion is. This is sort of like this, right? Say a team came out in the NFL just playing cover three every play. They would be getting dotted in the seams. You see what I'm saying? But when you go to try to throw the ball to the seams in Madden 19, for some reason, everybody is Houdini and a guy jumps the route and it's like, it just becomes crazy. Um, I don't really have any kind of issue with, as far as the block shedding goes because, you know, having played football and watching it, you know that, you know, depending on the D lineman, you're going to, you know, you're going to get pressure. It's going to happen. All I, would, all I would suggest to you guys is this. When you're talking about Calvin Johnson, I want you guys to analyze what you're really asking for, okay? Because the 6'5 body of Calvin Johnson and his, it, it, like, even with the great route running and stuff like that, I don't think it will really matter. I, you know what I'm saying? I don't think it will really matter. It, it, it probably won't. You know what I'm saying? So depending on how you're going to chem him, now look, if you get 50 of the, if you get 50 line players or you do anything ridiculous or whatever like that, and that's the way that you go about it, and then you add on whatever amount, because more than likely they're going to probably release some of like maybe a 90, 91 speed or something like that, right? And then you could put sprinter chem on them, and then you could get your Lions players and chem them up even more, right? So look, this is what the situation is. Would it matter that, his, that he's 6'5"? Because you can't really take advantage of that. In this game, you you can't really take advantage of his height in this game because you're gonna get picked off by a guy that's three foot two. You know what I'm saying, bro? So that's the thing that's going on, and that's what I've been really trying to explain to you guys. When I'm telling you, like, I'm thinking about certain things, thinking about certain players, and I'm like, yo, you know what? This guy, I would replace this guy for that guy. With my wide receiver position right now, Tyreek Hill is probably going to be, you know, more more than likely a current player that's playing the fastest player uh, in the league throughout the year, obviously. So EA is going to probably make him get to 99 speed the fastest because it would make sense to do that. Other than that, maybe an out of position Deion Sanders or something like that. But Deion Sanders being out of position, it's not going to really help you with the route running and stuff like that because, like I said, with the way that they allow you to bail and cover three and you can just start floating back, you can't really beat them deep. So now route running comes into play. So now you're going to have to have deep route chemistry and different things like that on your players else you're not going to be able to move the ball. Okay, once you hike the ball and you see an idiot that's just backing his guys off and he's just fly guys are just flying all the way back, you're going to have to do some underneath routes. You're going to have to do some posts. You're going to have to do, you know, different plays else you're never going to move the ball. So that's a situation where in my case, I don't know who I would get rid of because I can't get rid of Tyreek Hill. That would make no sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what am I going to do with I, like, bro? I'm trying to get the ball down the field. Now, would I buy packs? I told you guys, I would buy packs for Calvin Johnson. Like, you guys don't seem to understand something. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna buy packs for. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you what I'm not gonna buy packs for. All right? It's very, very simple to understand that depending on what, what his speed turns out to be, is it a possibility that we get rid of him for Randy Moss? See, look, this, this is the thing, right? Randy Moss can be gone if we can get the speed of, you know, you know, uh, Calvin Johnson to be what Randy Moss's speed is right now. All right, and, and for you guys that are asking, usually what happens is I don't have any other solos to do right now, so I'll replay two solos to get my daily objectives done, and then I'll go from there. That's pretty much what I'll do. So you'll see now that I'll get my pack and everything like that, and then, you know, the game continues to go on, and we get everything done with our daily objectives. That's just another way to do it, just in case you don't have any solos left. All right, so when you, when you analyze everything that's going on, and you start to figure out, okay, look, if he turns out to be a certain speed, and for any reason this uh, Calvin Johnson turns out to either match Randy Moss's speed or he's right there at his speed, we could probably get rid of Randy Moss. You see what I'm saying? But Tyreek Hill, because of his speed, because he's already a 94, and I don't have all I have is Sprinter on him. You know what I'm saying? Like if I try to put his team together with Kansas City, because now that I have you know Pat Mahomes as my QB, if I try to put more players in and try to get a little bit more stats, he's going to always be a little bit faster than everybody else, all right? So when you analyze it along those lines, I don't see him going. More than likely, if I were to get rid of anyone, I would get rid of Randy Moss for Calvin Johnson. If, if Calvin Johnson could match 
what he's doing. Because remember, with Sprinter Cam right now, Randy Moss is a 92 speed. But the only thing is that would kind of be kind of you know be kind of freakish is when they release another Randy Moss card. And I don't want to run around with Calvin Johnson and, you know, like, see, and then I don't, I don't want to put Calvin Johnson in the slot either because that's, like, disrespectful. But Jerry Rice is garbage, and that's a problem also. So that's why I'm just trying to make sure you guys understand. I don't know what they did to him, but he drops a lot of passes. And I don't, you know, it just doesn't make any sense to me what he's doing, but that's what he does. And when you look at his numbers, it just doesn't make any sense that he's doing it, but that's something that he chooses to do as a man. He just... He wants to drop the ball, and he doesn't care about it. See, that's the thing. If you drop the ball and you were, like, a little sad about it, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, all right, you know, the dude got compassion. This dude has absolutely zero compassion. He's just doing whatever he wants. You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much where I am with that. I don't know where you guys are with it, but that's pretty much where I am with it. I would probably consider, but then, like I said, it's very, very tough because Randy Moss, once he gets his next upgrade, they, with Kem, he's probably going to be 95 speed. So they're probably going to wait on putting out a card for him. You know, I, I kind of assumed that he would come back with being most feared speed. But it'll probably be too early to give this man like a 95 speed at that height. So that's also very difficult. But more than likely, I would, you know, pull packs for Calvin and try to figure out what's going on. And, you know, but we all can have, you know, pretty much I come out in a lot of three wide receiver sets. So it, it's very, very difficult how we're going to work it out. But Tyreek Hill, it's, it's a very, very good investment because... You know, barring injury, they're going to continue to give him his upgrades and stuff like that. He's going to continue to ball. So I like what I'm going to get out of him. All right? Jerry Rice can just be gone right now. But I, who would put Calvin Johnson as a slot receiver, though? Like, the dude's an outside receiver all day long. Uh, we could put Tyreek Hill in the slot and try to just beat people through the seams. That's an option. And then we could downgrade Jerry Rice and just say, you know what? We hate you. And then we go someplace else. But, you know, who do we get? I, I don't want to. We could get uh, Shannon Sharp. Um, and then have him as another uh, another tight end as a captain. But I, I don't really know, guys. But that's just the insight that I wanted to give you into the players and what I'm thinking about doing uh, once Calvin Johnson does drop. But all in all, we have to wait to see how it happens. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you want to get in contact with me or you know, let me know what's going on with anything uh, actively happening in Mutt, you can go ahead and follow me on Twitter at GMizeWorld, like me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, and I'm going to see you guys and girls next time, man. One love.